Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button if you enjoy this video. And as you can see, we are back in NIMBY Rails. And uh, I think first thing to uh, to point out is that there certainly is an addition from the uh, the last episode. And that is we've now got a, uh, a tram system set up in Reading and it is helping it is helping a lot so if we just take a quick look at the um expenses so if we go back a day for wednesday we made uh seven and a half million seven and a half million nine million on that monday and uh you can see kind of 10 10 million there so you can kind of see the uh the general pattern that it is really starting to to boost the numbers um so really I'm hoping that today is going to be pretty similar and uh, kind of the aim for this episode is to continue expanding uh, the Great Western Railway. Obviously we uh, came from Swindon through Chippenham to Bath in the last episode and um, this episode I really want to focus on taking us on to Bristol. Um, it, it may be a little bit tricky to get into Bristol because obviously it's quite a, a, a dense city um, and there's lots of you know roads to navigate through and not end up with a railway um, that's very expensive um, and then I think the plan from there is the in the next episode is to uh, to build some tram systems um, into Bristol uh, and then that will obviously drive a huge amount of um, uh, sort of passengers so with kind of like further ado let's dive probably into Bristol to try and locate um, where we would pop our station now I already have had a, a little look and um, I've pretty much identified this area here is probably where the station would naturally live um, anyway so if we just hit and that's where I'm going to stick with that because I think it's probably good a place as any. Um, we're going to need a fairly big station, I think. We'll go with the classic 300 meters. Let's just scroll in. We are having to do it as a viaduct, which is fine. I don't no issues with doing that. So that's pretty much, I think, the centre of Bristol. And obviously, we've got the option to build in quite a, you know quite a, a substantial um, tram network but obviously we'll need to, to build up uh, build up the money to do that but as you can see that station alone is going to be 32 million so we'll keep <laughs> time flying past while we do this um, we're going to need every penny I we can get our whole hands on at the minute I think so um, let's turn our attention back to Bath and um, as you can see it looks like the railway where my cursor is follows that way out which I think for now I'm gonna I will indeed um, copy that I think so we'll have a, a turn here it's gonna be slow initially um, we'll go to here We'll turn back to ground and we'll keep the cost of this down as much as possible. Um, and then, yeah, we're back up to 350. So let's get flying along here. And it's fairly painless getting through, but you can see how much it certainly helps when you're in a, a built up area following existing train tracks, that's for sure. Just about see where we're heading. This is where it gets a little tricky because we've got to work out. I guess we go across there possibly, and then I guess along here. I don't really want to cross over that the river if I can help it. So we'll go. You can kind. Of, this is the kind of following the same path as the. Uh, the railway track I believe and this is going to be the next issue getting over so um, actually let's back that up slightly just a little bit turn it to oh yeah viaduct works go over and back to normal 
finish that viaduct and then we'll carry on this way. That's horrible. I don't know why that's so low. Oh, we can get 350. Come on, there it is. Got there eventually. And let's carry on our wiggling our way. This way, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yep, this looks good so far. And um, we'll keep just. I really am following. Looks like I'm following. It's. Oh no! Don't want to do that. Didn't tag on to there. We'll keep on following this round. Oh, we're gonna have to. Oh, I didn't press that properly, did I? Uh, am I gonna have to build? Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a viaduct here. So we'll stop it just there. We'll go to a viaduct. To get across. That's horribly. can see it kind of then curves round there to the station so I think that will work for us quite nicely so we'll carry on through here I think so yeah we'll keep following the river for night we're still maintaining a pretty high speed so and we're up to 82 million already or oh, it's gonna be a uh, be tight if I can afford this just look at trying to get this bit sorted. Let's get a bit wider here. That's fine. Go back to adding track again. Haha, we got to go here. Such a pain when you got to use viaduct because you can't you can't go over a road exactly like parallel. Really annoying. Ah, oh, down to sixty two. No, 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 no. Why are we down to sixty? No sense in that. Uh, 249. Come on, let's straighten this up a touch. Get some higher speeds. Uh, I've got another mm, couple of viaducts to go. Here. Back out with the old viaduct. Back to ground. Try and keep these viaducts. We're going to be so close on in terms of money. And again, that's just slightly, slightly wonky, which makes the speed kind of a lot lower than it needs to be. I want to try and maintain that speed obviously as much as possible so it doesn't have to keep slowing. This is going to be quite a large viaduct, I think. Ah.
gonna have to go over to here. Oh, that's a horrible. Uh, go back to ground. We might just be able to afford this. <laughs> it's gonna be tight, or we might just have to. Uh, speed. Oh, that's horrible, but that takes. So let's just try. What is it now? It's an approach to a station, so it's going to be slow anyway. I mean, we can try and speed it up as much as possible, but 62, I think it's fine. Let's just look at along the track here to try and perhaps optimize things as much as possible. Just to make, we want to make sure that there's no massive speed drops anywhere, like here, 206. There's no real reason why it should be. There you go. Why we need to drop down that low. And similarly, 120 here for... There, 130, I suppose. Again, 125, no need. It's 350 there. This doesn't need to surely be as slow as it is. 232. Uh, 350, 240. So the train that we use on here, the max speed is 225. So as long as we can minimize where it drops below that, then I'm okay with that. But like things like that is just not optimized at all. 25, we have. For something that is a straight piece of track, it makes absolutely no sense. I think this is going to be a pretty slow leg to Bristol um, for those trains. Especially, you know, 44 come out of there and it can speed up. So that one's going to cost us a cool 101 million to do um, 30 kilometres. I think it's 30 kilometres. Hey, let's do it. We need to... There we go. Okay, so next thing we need to do is obviously adjust the Great Western uh, Railway. So we need to pop in. Uh, that's Wickham B. So Wickham B now comes out. We need to add... Okay. A and then B and then uh, back to Bath, which then has B, then to Olympiad B, which is really Chippenham. I don't know why it still says Bath. Okay, so that's fine. Let's just do the estimated travel. We will expect it's going to be around 200. Okay, so that's that now introduced into the route. We've already got 85 passengers there. That's looking promising. 
So that's working nicely. Uh, we'll just look at the accounting. Scott. I think what we can do is just do a clone where possible. So there's eight and a half million ago. Okay, so we'll buy an extra one for now. Oh, don't want to keep following that. <laughs> so we've already got an additional one. We've nearly at getting another additional train, but I think as we can see, there are quite a few spread out at the minute. Um, I think we could possibly do with a couple more. Um, yeah, possibly a couple more perhaps. And then that will, I don't want too many, um, but yeah, it definitely feels like the line could do with a probably th maybe three trains because if we look now, I don't know, maybe, maybe three. I'll probably pop another one on there, see how we do. If we start to see sort of big build ups of uh, sort of people waiting, as we can kind of just look here, uh, wrong way around, see 300 and there's almost 500 past 600 passengers to go on that line so you can see why actually having a couple of see we've still got 600 it, why we could do with it, probably a couple more trains on on this one for sure the uh, if we just have a look at the uh, yeah the Reading Metro even and we look at the state uh, we've got f uh, a couple of the trains are full so or trams are full so kind of but we are right in the sort of peak so it could indicate that it could do within perhaps another one or two um, similarly the Oxford Metro I think is probably going to be very similar um, and uh, yeah the Oxford branch isn't too bad we're not hitting capacity anywhere at the minute there's quite a few of them so yeah that's fine uh, we have now got enough for a another one so we'll get that see a little bit of a stalling tactic there we've managed to pick up another train so that's good and that should certainly help with things and off it goes so okay brilliant so guys that probably brings a conclusion to this episode but as i kind of say next episode we're going to really focus on putting in uh, tram systems into Bristol given it's such a such a large city obviously getting that uh, those uh, tram systems built will you know massively increase the amount of throughput into the uh, the Great Western Ra Railway so again those couple of extra trains will probably do the world of good um, especially obviously with the frequency um, and being trains that can take 720 passengers um, yeah really will help so guys if you have liked this one please do give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button and if you uh, want to see more content like this then do subscribe it really does go a long way to helping the channel and i will see you in the next memory rails bye bye